first came on the board is that there were individuals on that board, like Dick Ham and Yvonne Darjanse and Jim McClatchy, uh, who really were Francophiles and who really wanted this school to be the best French American school it could possibly be. And Dick uh, Ham uh, really got involved in this French American bilingual program because of his experience in World War II at the end of the war, I believe. And he is unfortunately no longer alive, but you know, that was, that, he was just completely on a mission. And that was what we, that's what we did. That's how we got to be what we are. And I arrived, and when I came here, <coughs> it was a lady, French lady, who was married to an American man who received me with Mr. Ham, the, you know, probably Mr. Ham. <coughs> and they, you know, they received me nicely and they gave me a room in one residence, who was a little bit funny, but anyway. And they showed me a room, empty room, and it said, we rent this room. Now we have to do something. So they ordered the table and the chair somewhere, and for the rest they said, do it. You know, it was no one pencil, no one paper, no one book. I had to do everything in the country I did not know. I said it was really <laughs> something difficult, and it was 20 names on a paper. The children who will attend the school. It's like that, I start. I could not do it anymore. <laughs> when we are young, everything is possible, I think. And after, you know, we just progress little by little. We move from one place to another. But I still, I was really loving what I was doing here. But I enjoy to come back and to see what the school is now, really. Is impressive for me because I could never think this little thing I start will become what it is now. So really, it's the work for many, many people. But uh, I am glad it turned on that way. <laughs> yeah.